Welcome to another Solid Applications Hints and Tip video here. Today we're going to take a look at a really powerful tool found inside SolidWorks called Derived Sketches. If we take a look at this uh, sheet metal part here, we want to add a D sub connector. Now I've already created the sketch on here. It's quite a complex sketch. Of course, this could be a design library feature that we could bring through, but in this instance, I want to control the sketch myself. That sketch, I actually want to appear on this front face. So if I hit control, hold it down, select my sketch and my face, then add a derived sketch. What SolidWorks will do will bring that sketch and all its constraints into this face. Once I've added my positioning dimensions and any other relationships I want to add to this uh, D sub sketch, I can then use it as I would any other feature found inside SolidWorks, and of course, it's going to be a, a cut for this one. So I'll flip this direction and I'll just cut through to the next face. Great. So that saved me a lot of work already. But where the real power comes inside of derived uh, derive sketches is, and this is different from the library feature, I can now change the original sketch however I want to change it. So in this case, I'll just make the, uh, the D sub a little bit wider. And when I finish this sketch, it will update all other derived sketches and their corresponding features in the design. It's a real powerful, quick tool there to uh, share these sketches. Just to show where that, how that behaves moving forward in this design history, if we look at the parent and child relationships, you can see that sketch is a parent to that feature. Thank you for watching this uh, Tints and Tip. Please remember to subscribe to all of our social media tools and outputs uh, so you don't miss out on anything.